we want to, of course, not only remember um, remember uh, De Young, the De Young family uh, as a whole, of course, uh, but also um, just talking with Jeanette this morning, she was sharing that uh, we've been following along with her knees. Um, her knee has great pain, um, and and so she has been looking for help from uh, WSIB. Uh, they have uh, they have said that they're not going to pay for knee replacement. However, they will pay for injections that can help with uh, her pain, hopefully. However, then there's also the situation that she would have to have knee replacement eventually, and uh, maybe it's a good idea to have it sooner rather than later uh, because you don't know your health situation later. So um, please continue to pray for Jeanette, both in her pain, but also as she continues to talk with the hospital and um, figure out what is next for her in that as well. Also, you will, hopefully many of you will have heard that Adrian is home. He has come home and is doing very well. He's uh, like all three of those children, or the other two children, is ridiculously cute. Um, and that's wonderful as well. Um, and uh, Oliver is continuing to do well. Yes, yeah, excellent, wonderful. And uh, taking, um, taking the heart medication off for um, Miles. Thank you. Oh, trouble. Uh, taking the heart medication off for Miles is good. Still working well. Excellent. Wonderful. Good. Then um, our offering today is for... I forgot to check. Are you here, Clarence? What's the offering for? You don't know? <laughs> I did get the bulletin, and it, shame on me for not looking. But... Diaconal... Di I, you a deacon, and you didn't even know that. So um, the the offering is for the Diacno Fund. Thank you uh, for letting me know. The Diacno Fund is wonderful because that gives the deacons the opportunity to help out uh, both people within our congregation and or people who come up with a uh, particular uh, need within uh, the broader community at a particular time. They can use that as at their discretion. Uh, to help out people in need. So, let us come to the Lord our God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, we come before you this morning with, uh, with hearts with mixed feelings all together uh, among us. We are glad to be together, to be together with you, O oh God, and also to be together with our brothers and sisters in Christ. And to know, O oh God, that throughout this world there are many people who are meeting together, whether it is uh, online, virtually, or whether it is in person, or some other format, Lord, we are just so grateful for our brothers and sisters, our fellow Christ followers throughout this world. We pray a blessing upon them, not for their sake, O oh God, but for your name's sake. May your, your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, we pray also that you would be with all of those at this time who are grieving. Lord, we think this morning particularly of Dorothy and of the, uh, her kids and grandkids, Lord, as they mourn the passing of uh, Frank. Lord, we ask that you would comfort them and strengthen them. We praise you, O oh God, that Frank passed away so peacefully and that he was uh, with Dorothy and that, uh, Lord, <laughs> almost more than anything, we praise you, O oh God, that he is no longer suffering, but he is with you and he is whole and he is healthier than he has ever been. And we praise you for that, O oh God. Father, we pray for others among us who are struggling with chronic ailments or diseases. Lord, we think of uh, those among us who are battling cancer. We think of those of us who are battling um, 
who are battling mental health struggles, depression, or anxiety. Lord, we think of those who struggle with chronic ailments like arthritis. Or, Lord God, we pray for people like Jeanette, who have uh, significant pain in their knees or other joints. Lord, we pray that you will be with and bless Jeanette as she continues her search for uh, the best way forward. Lord, we know that WSIB has said no to paying for knee replacement surgery. Uh, we thank you for them being willing to pay for injections. But Lord, we just pray for wisdom for, for Jeanette and for the doctors as well as they uh, determine the best way forward. Father, we pray for this whole area, the uh, Lanark and Leeds and Grenville uh, area as we uh, move into the yellow phase uh, because of the rise in COVID cases in our area. And Lord, we pray that you will help, uh, you will help us, not only here in this congregation, but also all over this area to, uh, to be wise in how we go about uh, celebrating Christmas, celebrating the holidays. Lord, we pray that you will help us to care for our neighbors in the best way we can. Oh God. Father, we pray too for other areas of this province, Lord. Uh, we, we hear of other parts of the province going into lockdown and others moving into red zones and so on. Lord, we pray that you will be with this, uh, this whole province and this, this whole world, oh God. We think of so many small business owners who are struggling so much. And we ask for your blessing and mercy upon them. Father, we pray too that you will be with our deacons. That you will help them to see um, exactly where funds from the diaconate need to go um, when the time is right. Lord, we pray that these, our tithes and offerings, would be pleasing in your sight. We pray as well, O oh God, that you will be with Miles and Oliver and Adrian. Lord, thank you so much that all three of these young ones are doing so well and progressing so well. We praise you for that, O oh God. Father, we pray, will you open up our hearts and minds to help us hear what you would have us hear in the message today. May we go forth from this place with the joy of the Lord firmly in our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.